What is going on everybody? Repel here and we have a Wi-Fi battle for you. Today we're up against opponent Artemis. This was quite a fun match. If you guys do look at our team, we obviously have the Mammoth Swine. We both are carrying the Mammoth Swine. And naturally, you'll see. Wait for it. Just wait for it, okay? Seriously, just wait for it. We both led off with the Mammoth Swine. She leads off with her Mammoth Swine, and I lead off with my Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine versus Mammoth Swine. Now, I did see that Espeon. She does have an Espeon on her team. And once I see Espeon, I am terrified of Magic Bounce. So I'm not going to go for Stealth Walks. If my opponent wanted to stay in with her Mammoth Swine, then sure. But I am so glad that she actually switched into this Espeon, because Espeon did not appreciate this earthquake like holy fucking shit i feel so bad for this espion like at least maybe put a focus slash on this espion togekiss is back out i naturally outspeed togekiss i'm not really sure what this togekiss can do to, to me maybe a fire blast maybe an aura sphere but i don't really care she actually went for t wave expecting me to switch out but i am not afraid of any aura sphere or fire blast because i'm carrying the focus slash now I actually went for the Icicle Crash, it's the only thing that hits the Togekiss. So I'm not really sure why my opponent brought out the Sarina. My Sarina would have would completely die, okay? But she doesn't, she lives with 1 HP. No, literally, she lives with 1 HP, okay? Like my opponent even told me. The Sarina only had 1 HP left, so I'm like, okay. She switches out, she switches out her Rapid Spinner. And while I set up Stealth Rocks, meaning that uh, that Sarina is pretty much dead. Unless this scissor might have defog. If sh this scissor has defog, this is the best opportunity for scissor to use it right now. But as you guys can see, instead of using a defog, the scissor actually just goes for a pursuit. Sure, a pursuit will do slightly more. It's not going to kill. It'll break my focus sash. It'll do around like 30%. I think it will be a lot better if my opponent went for defog. But my opponent didn't go for defog, so I'm pretty sure this opponent, this scissor, doesn't even carry the defog. Meaning, that's the Serena only has the defog. It's rapid spin. And since that Serena only has 1 HP left, I'm afraid he can't even send it out to rapid spin. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a fire blast in case the scissor wants to stay in, but he just goes for the U-turn, and honestly, that's fine. Let's do a do a decent amount to the Togekiss. Now Togekiss can do obviously several things to me. Go for a Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, even Thunder Wave. Most likely the Thunder Wave. That's what I'm gonna presume. So I'm switching out. I'm not really especially defensive. I'm physically defensive. So I'm gonna go to Zerka Tree expecting to T-Wave. My opponent actually just goes for a T-Wave once again. I have two Pokemon that is immune to Thunder Wave. So I don't think you should have gone for the T-Wave, but that is okay. I'm actually just going to stay in and just go for a Thunderbolt. Honestly, like, why the heck not? Actually, no, I went for the Energy Ball. Expecting the Mammoth Swine to come out. There will be Stealth Rock, so it will break the Mammoth Swine's Focus Sash. And there you go. Thanks to Focus Sash breaking off, I'm able to finish off Mammoth Swine. And after finishing off Mammoth Swine, my, yes, special attack will be boosted, which is... Amazing. I don't even have to go for Tail Glow at this rate. Here comes the Arcanine. Keep in mind though, my special attack was Risen. And yeah, with Stealth Rocks, I'm actually going to probably most definitely take out this Arcanine. He does go for the E-Speed, trying to do as much as he can before dying. Like even my opponent realized that. I'm afraid an E-Speed is just not going to do it. And down it goes. So another Pokemon down, meaning another Beast Boost up. I got a little circuitry mini sweep going on here, and now I'm going to lose a little bit more HP, and my opponent finally brings out the Scizor. He could go for the Bullet Punch, it is priority, it will outspeed me. I'm already at plus 2 attack, so I just figured let's just stay in, in case the Scizor might have Defog, but now that I look at it, I don't think he has Defog, honestly. We already saw some of his moves, you know, he has U-Turn, Bullet Punch, and Pursuit. His fourth move is most likely just either Swords Dance or Roost. That's my guess. Goes for that U-turn. It doesn't quite kill Slowbro. I'm, I'm going to have to say, though, that actually does a decent amount, but it's just not going to be enough. Brings out the Serena, his Rapid Spinner, which ironically dies to Stealth Lux. I guess I could have went for the Slack Off here, 
predicting my opponent to go for the U-turn, but I don't know. We still don't know the Scissor's fourth move. So I think it was slightly better for me to just go for a Fire Blast. Comes the Scissor back, okay? Now he comes back, and I'm just gonna let my slow bro die because I'm honestly tired of having Scissor go for U-turn and get all that switch priority. Like, honestly, I don't really care. My opponent has two Pokemon left anyway. So he can switch out, and he can bring out the Togekiss, which gives me the switch priority, which gives me that momentum. I can send out pretty much anything to revenge kill this Togekiss. And I'm so glad I got my rocks up because my opponent really likes switching out. Honestly, gotta get your rocks up immediately, or spikes, or toxic spikes, or webs. Either way, I'm just gonna go for Icicle Crash. Ice Shard does have a slight chance to kill, but I want to just go for Icicle Crash to be a little safer. I'm just kind of glad I did not miss. Now my opponent has the Scissor left. Finished off the Token Kiss, so I can just honestly peacefully let my Mammoth Swine go down. He does go for that Bull Punch, um, gets a crit. The crit absolutely doesn't matter. Like even without a crit, like I'm most certain that a bullet punch can actually one shot Mammoth Swine. So I'm gonna bring out Tapu Bulu. And I figure, you know, like why the heck not? This is obviously, I think this is my first time showcasing Tapu Bulu uh, ever in all of my battles. This is battle number 15, but I still haven't showcased my Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu will eat up that bullet punch for breakfast, and he would destroy the Scissor with a Choice Band superpower. So there you guys have it. At least I showcased Tabu Bulu. And thank you so much, Artemis. The viewers, if you guys enjoyed this battle, please let me know by liking this video. Make sure to subscribe so that you guys can stay tuned for more Repel games. And I will definitely see you guys next time. Have an awesome day.